I want. I got. I was. I'm still going. Give me a second here. Give me oh, a minute. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hurry up, okay. bitch. So the funny thing about Ian that like has started to come out. It came out a lot in this podcast, and it came out on Twitter earlier. Is that like? I didn't think he was this big of like a libtard. <laughs> Because he's the kind of guy who makes, like, Nazi jokes and shit. Like, he's made, he's such, like, he makes so many bad jokes that we'd have to, because we didn't edit our movie show back in the day, because I didn't know how to edit podcasts. Mm -hmm. We had to restart, restart recordings all of the time, because Ian would say shit that I was not comfortable airing. <laughs> well, he's probably a tanky, or like, I don't know, he's probably we like, yeah, fucking ML. We had to restart our Shrek review like five times, and like even the shit that did go to air, we did a review. We did a review of some like Christian animated movie called The Dorby's <laughs> Making Decisions, in which most of the content was us arguing about if it's okay to have a crush on your cousin at age twelve. Oh dear God! <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. That that was my side. Uh. This world. Right, Mo, you can you can skittily do now. Oh, thank you, thank you. Unless uh, Robin, do you have anything you want to add to this one splendiferous cold opening? I don't. I don't think you and him are gonna disagree on income inequality, really. Well, not. <laughs> oh, well, not really. Not well, like a. Th there's a couple of issues I have, that, like specifics, but uh, other than that, like a, I, I think we're just gonna pro wrestling it up a little bit. This is going to be a good yeah, debate. Like, I don't think like anyone... the best debate in the universe, one could call it. I don't think anyone genuinely disagrees with the idea of income inequality. And, like, you're, you have to be so bad faith. Yeah, you have to be sort of, like, a real piece of shit to, like, notice that there are, like, pay discrepancies, like, here and there. Now, th there are, like, statistics here and there that people can improve upon. But, really, that that is... Uh, that ultimately is up to the individual. Like collectively speaking, we have a problem. Individually, I think we can, I, I think we can fix some of the problems in, in that area. Yeah, Bezos is about to be a trillionaire. Like, yeah, like his people should be paid a lot more, and we shouldn't like hear anything about like fucking uh, uh work cages. Like fucking Medicare was talking some like last year, some months ago. You know. Wakey, wakey, wagey, slavey, back in your wage cagey. You know, that, that that's, a, that's a fucking... They're, whole... like, running across the warehouse over to the next thing they have to, like, haul across, like, while holding a bottle to their penis while they're peeing because, like, they can't take a fucking bathroom break. Like, Bezos, come on. Yeah, like, uh, like I, I worked for... Like, cause he's libertarian, and, and my old boss... We here at Amazon don't believe in unions because bullshit reasons i watched a video that yeah, we was don't just believe like... in unions because we don't want to pay our workers fairly <laughs> yeah oh, not, not not at fucking all right and it's, i watched it's... like an amazon employee video that's just like we don't believe in unions because we feel that we should be able to fuck you over basically <laughs> i'm sorry what are benefits isn't the benefit that they're getting minimum wage Ugh. Exactly, and they want to get rid of minimum wage too. Like that's I used to be like actual libertarian. Like back in the day, maybe some of the shit that I said on Riley's podcast uh, last weekend might have been a little bit more unironic. But I've grown up since then. But that was when I was much much younger. You've grown up since Monday. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh well, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I yeah. I got it now. Well, I mean, like, like, literally, he has. Well, not really. Like, don't you stop growing by, like, 17 or 18, something like that? I mean, I like, wish. physically growing. Yeah, you, uh, it's not like once you hit 90 years old, you're, like, you know, 70 feet tall. Well, yeah, because I, I wouldn't want to keep growing and growing. Like, I don't want to be, like, 7, 8 or anything fucking freakish like that. Like, I, I got to be, I like, I need at... to stop getting lighter. Um, like, I, I try, actually... I... Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I forgot this is your show, Mr. Man. Do you want to go ahead and go? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be mean to me. All right, all right, all right. All right. L here, l l let me let me go ahead and do the intro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. 
What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I am your host, Mo Diggity. And joining us today is the uh, numero uno co-host, Robin. Say hi, Robin. Skibbly dibbly doo. Hello. Skibbly dibbly doo remember? in, in Dita Reno. I, I'm trying to remember the best. I think you are the super duper or splend what was the fucking I'm the title? super duper co-host yep oh yeah you're the super duper co-host of the ages say hi to, to riley riley <laughs> <laughs> yeah mo promoted me because he didn't want me to put ian on the show instead <laughs> he didn't want to have to deal with him every week oh yeah because you fucking twisted my arm and, and you threatened to like have him like you threatened to <laughs> impose him onto our show <laughs> yeah. and i'm like god i was like i'm giving my co-host status to ian ian's gonna be on the mocast now it's gonna be great oh no once you're once you're mo side dude you're mo side for fucking life there ain't no of leaving. course uh, but yeah 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 uh like like I was said, you know, like I I said some of the most evil shit I can fucking think of on, on your fucking show, right? Like what about my I think my favorite line out of that was like he was just like really laying it thick, like you just want to fucking make it, uh, like poor people even poor, you just want to oppress somebody. I said, dude, I can't wait till like what was what was it I said? I think I you want to uh, become a landlord because you want to like, take advantage yeah, of them. I can't. Or I I can't fucking wait to exploit you. I'm going to become a landlord. You know that's like fucking horrific shit to fucking say, and like it's all in so I could just trigger this just one person, and you know it worked out really well. Like of course I don't want to be beautiful. a landlord. I, of course, I don't want to be a fucking landlord. That's way too much work, and I'm responsible for everything. Oh, and gross. Who wants to be a landlord? Oh, it fucking sucks. Yeah, it, it, it's Ugh. just... And, and if it, you aren't already on that path, and you're already 40, then what's the chances you become a landlord? Oh, actually, fairly easy in this country. All it takes is just, like, a decent amount of money, and if I just uh, put some elbow grease to a house and... Oh, yeah. Oh, p oh yeah. Pay my mortgage. Oh, oh yeah. Like, it, it's... <laughs> It's actually oh, quite. Let me, let me exploit you for all your money. Oh. <laughs> it is. It is actually quite easy to become that, but it's just. It, it's. It's not worth it. Number one, like if if you if you get some like good people, God forbid they they fall on hard times, and you have to evict somebody, or you know you just you let the the power. The, the minute power, or a bit of power that you have, go to your fucking head, and you become a corrupt piece of shit. And I don't want to ever well, fucking do that. Well, they just do don't that. do anything. Landlords don't do anything. Yeah, they, they just, just they just have they property. They just show up and they're like, where's my money? I, I need to pay my mortgage. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, exactly, Bye. exactly. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just fucking, you know. Like, property just... managers are cool. Landlords are pieces of shit. Like, yeah, th there's got to be a better way to like. You know, well, I, I guess there's not. I don't know if there's a a, a better no, way. No, the system's fucked. Yeah, the system. But landlords much are still fucked. pieces of shit. But the land, the, like the system, is the problem. The landlords are just like the scum that you know profit off of the problem. Oh man, you know, back in the good old years of the Reaganite '80s, when everything was great and everything was, everyone was going to be a millionaire by the time they were like 35. Uh, there were so many reports, especially up in like you know major cities like Houston, New York City, Los Angeles. Most of the fucking horror stories, or the ones I remember, came out of fucking New York, right? There were uh, superintendents, you know, like landowner, like the the building owners and shit who wouldn't do a fucking thing to uh, help out the tenants. They would just be rat and roach infested fucking buildings. And the fucking superintendents would just jack up their rent by 50 bucks every couple of weeks. If, uh, if, if they couldn't fucking pay their rent. Right. And, and all this fucking horrific shit is why rent control is a good fucking thing. Like, uh, I'm normally not for, like, stuff like that sometimes, because sometimes there's the downside is a lot worse than the good upside, but rent control is fucking great, and I'm really glad that we have that, because pieces of shit like that shouldn't have that much control over your life, especially at that level, because they're at your level, you know? It's like your, your fellow person is fucking working against you, you know? Anyway, I I'm, I'm, I'm ranting. Ugh. So, Riley, you wanted to talk about podcasts, and I was—I've been sort of a uh, 
pushing back a little bit like, oh, let's do it next week. Ah, oh, let's do it next week. Ah, oh, maybe not this week, but we're finally fucking doing it, right? Now, I have a couple of podcasts. I have a couple of podcasts in mind that I want to talk about, but since this is uh, your idea, I want you to go ahead and start us off, huh? Uh, what will be what are some podcasts that you're listening to uh, during this time of uh, a fucking lockdown of insanity? I love how Mo t- has to tie like every topic we do into quarantine somehow. Well, like, it's it's like it's fucking what's happening to us like right now. I hate to fucking say it like a, I, I well down here in Texas, man. Uh, the the quarantine is almost like completely fucking over. Like people are being let Thank into, God. they're being let into restaurants now to eat and chill with each oh, other. Yeah. Uh, the bars still aren't open yet, and in Texas, that's. A borderline insanity like why the bars aren't open yet usually those are the first things to open in times of crisis like I'll, i i remember i'll never forget like the uh, the first hurricane i ever went through uh in houston right uh it destroyed my apartment and like a lot of my shit got fucking ruined or stolen because like while i was moving my shit like what i could salvage out of my old apartment there would be fucking people that fucking would like just run up there real quick and grab shit. And like one of the things that they fucking grabbed was uh the 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 VHS tape trill Star Wars original series, the original trilogy, and and they stole my buddy's fucking little like Yoda figurine. Like dude, how the fuck oh, are no. Like who just steals shit like that? Like like what what possible value you like you might get like a few bucks for it at the movie exchange place. Like you you're taking someone's fucking memory. That could have meant something more to them than just a fucking movie. It was fucking crazy. But anyway, yada yada. Uh the first thing that we did because our phones were in service was out, we we ended up going to the first thing that we can see that was open, and what do you know? It's a goddamn bar. Oh, they were squeegeeing out the freaking uh, the water that uh, that went into place, and and they were like, "Hey, what's up, y'all? Thirsty? Come on in!" And so we ordered a couple of freaking uh uh cokes because we were sort of like walking at the time. We were not in the mood to drink, but we got some sodas, got some phone calls in, and all that. And I'll, I'll never forget that. That's that's where our priorities normally are. So I'm I'm waiting for the bars to come in. But anyway. I'm waiting for the bars to open up because after the bars start opening up, I think everything else will start opening up, and it might be all right. Anyway, so I'm I'm totally rambling again. Riley, get on with your bad self. Welcome boy. back to the Mo Rants. Yeah, yeah, I really Show need to pick Mo that. Rants. I need to pick that series back up again on, on my uh, my YouTube channel because I always think that I'm going to like do a good rant. I'm like I'll I'll open up OBS and shit. And I'll be recording, and I'm like, hey, you know what? And immediately I just stop, and I fucking have shut down OBS so many times after spending so much time trying to adjust my camera and shit. Because I'll think to myself, all right, I got a nice subject I want to bitch about. And fucking nothing just comes out, and I feel like I'm fake. Like, you know, like I I feel like that episode of Black Mirror. Like, have you all ever seen Black Mirror before? Of course. All right. No. So... All right, so, well, there's an episode of Black Mirror where uh, there's this sort of real fucked up sort of dystopian future, right? And these people, they're uh, they're riding bikes and shit to generate electricity and energy for mm. this uh, for this society that they live in, right? And fast forward, fast forward, it's it's a nightmare for like a of like this one dude in particular, and he just can't fucking stand it anymore. So he uh, he does this whole freaking like little plan. He's going to pretty much uh, uh, off himself on uh, on the stage because he had this like chick that he was really uh, sweet on, and they turn her into a fucking porno actress because the whole cr- like uh, the whole crowd. She wanted to become a singer because that you make a lot of money in this society as a singer. But like she went on this like basically like American Idol type thing, and yeah. one of the hosts who does all the porn stuff was like. Yeah, you don't know you're a shit singer, but like, you know, if you if you came and made porn, like you'd make a lot of money. 
Oh, yeah, like, the, definitely the fucking predator of the freaking group, right? And unfortunately, she fell prey to that because they medicate against the uh, the guilt and all that shit. So it's just some, some drugged-up porn star. So after a year of just seeing his fucking little... It's like real life. Yeah, his, his seeing his crush get just sucked and fucked, you know, he just lost his shit. So... Fast forward, fast forward, he gets on the show, he sticks a freaking giant shard of glass up to his throat, and uh, the, the fucking judges, the Simon Cowell uh, 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 stand-in, uh, he, he convinced them that this was great, and so after everything was said and done, the dude just ended up with a show on the other guy's network, and really it was just like a row-row fight to power. But, like, you know, give me some money and I'm going to live an upper class freaking existence. And, like, that that's that's how I feel every time I'm about to rant and rave. Like, I feel like that guy. Because I, I, I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's just self-doubt or something just fucking in my mind. But anyway. There I go again. Rambling for the fucking third goddamn time. Riley, please say something <laughs> before I start up again. Okay, I hope I don't thank say you. something that says thank you, Mo thank you. off. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to mute myself so he can talk for a couple of minutes. <laughs> See, I listen to podcasts all the time. It's kind of probably unhealthy, actually. Like, I, I pull up my uh, playback statistics here. I've I changed podcast apps because I've had a different. I've cycled through them all. I I changed podcast app back in November. So since November. I'd like to point out, this is since November 2019, so just a few months, I've listened to 22 days and six hours of podcasts. Damn. <laughs> it's a lot. I've listened, I've got my, I've got my rankings here, but they're wrong because at one point the Procrastinators podcast feed broke. So Procrastinators Podcast was in first place. I had listened to like nearly a week of them. Dun, dun, but dun, now dun. their stats are wrong because the feed broke and I had to re-subscribe. Um, but below that is I've listened to three days and 17 hours of the dick show. Oh, wow. I've, I've listened to one day and 11 hours of the loudest podcast. One day and ten hours of Is It Kino, Monkey Jones's movie review podcast. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh one god. Day... Never oh, mind. Here's the, sorry. Controver- here's the controversial one. One day and eight hours of Pot Awful. Uh, I I just don't find <laughs> him like enjoyable at all because I I listen to a few of it and it just reminds me of some friend of mine who had some like basic bitch ideas. And he tried to, like, you know, sound a little bit more intelligent than he was. And, like, you know, you're sitting there, you're listening to the dude, and you're like, oh, fucking God, I, I need a fucking, you're giving me a headache. I, I-, I don't know. I- I like, I- I'm-, I'm sure, like, he's a decent guy. Maybe I need to listen to more of his backlog. But so far, big eh. When he's not bitching about Dick Masterson, he's a funny guy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, everyone like just <laughs> Jesus. Like you know what? This isn't the show. We're, all right, no, nothing, nothing. We're we're not talking about the fucking meltdowns that've been going on for like the last two fucking weeks. Oh, <laughs> good God! Aren't we? We're talking about podcasts. I well, mean, yeah, they have to do podcast. Well, I guess we could talk about it for like a minute or two, but like I don't want to do the whole episode about it. We can cause... we can just we don't need to. I was just joking around. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm actually like. It's fucking crazy how, uh, like, one stupid little fucking trick, like, you know, because, like, pa- the, uh, Jesse from Pot Awful tried to, like, trick Medicare into going, oh, what a fucking bitch, or, like, something more fucking derogatory uh, that I, I won't mention on the show because I don't feel like doing any editing, and it's morally bad. Uh, <clears throat> he tried to trick him. Like, oh, it was it wasn't just some dude or that guy that you like to troll. It was your bestest friend on the internet, Dick Masterson. Dun 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 And it it just blew up in his fucking face because no one like bought it like the everyone sort of looked or like saw through his fucking scheme and it just all went downhill from there and it was fucking funny 
to watch just the 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 fucking hysterics of it all and the the anarchy of it all like that's that's what i fucking live for man it is just like twitter blowing up and going absolutely batshit you like you know it's like this is why i just fucking eat popcorn at 12 in the evening <laughs> scrolling through twitter my god like like so many people like they like it doesn't matter if you say the uh, the, someone will have like a five tweet response to it, you know. It's just fucking absolutely crazy. Like I, I'm kind of looking forward to like the time that Twitter just gets shut down because of some malicious fucking hacker or something. Because like I think everyone needs a long Twitter break, and, and not just me, fucking everybody. I think everyone will like enjoy that. But uh, you've had a few long Twitter breaks. Yeah, I, I've had a few long Twitter breaks. Mandatory someone, Twitter breaks. Yes, yeah, someone, someone, some will call them bans, but you know, I call them. You know, it's like nice little vacation. <laughs> That's just semantics. Yeah, it is semantics if you really think about it. I mean, hey, who's keeping score anyway, right? I'm sure you are. <laughs> yeah, god damn it! I missed my very first fucking Twitter account, man. I had like almost two thousand fucking followers on that because that was like a year, year and a half. Because that was my first like quote unquote professional streamer account. But I, I, I can't help but talk mad shit. Well, I, I think I've done all right now, and I, I, I tend to look at some of the shit that I, I like. I look, I, I tweet out. And then I'll just fucking delete it because, you know, like, you know what? I just don't want to fucking argue with anyone tonight. And I want to sleep and I want my battery to not be fucking dead when I wake up. <laughs> but, uh -huh. yeah. But, yeah. I, I, but I, I do fail. And I'm willing to admit that I do fail. But, you know, yeah. So, anyway. So, uh, yeah, Riley, you were saying something about rankings and feeds and... The hoobaloo and the blah blah blahs. Yeah, talk about all these ridiculous amounts of times I've listened to podcasts. Oh, dude, I I wish that I had a, like a, a a timer to see how like much time I've wasted listening to the biggest problem in the dick show and the loudest podcast slash pork chatter, and like a a few other ones. Oh, I've listened to the entire catalog of science friction and pork chatter. Uh, see, I I always try to get into science friction, but I just uh, I don't know. So, like, it's it takes like a certain like level of energy to keep uh talking about sci-fi, you know, interesting, because like I I can talk like uh, uh to my friends about like you know porgs or borgs or fucking zaphids or something, Borgs but listening or borgs or zorgs or. You know, don't step on my fucking line, bitch. That was a good fucking line. That was that was like segueing into my uh, my other point. But you have to fuck that up. And poor Robin's been wanting to talk here, and like you know, every second that you waste is another rant from me. So you be quiet, Mister Man. But yeah, you know, it's sometimes it can be hard to listen to other people talk about sci-fi and rant. Yeah, it's like a game show. It's fun. It's a fun show. Mm hmm I kinda yeah, wish, I've listened. I kinda wish I had a wheel behind me that just like, you know, it was like, Well, what will Mo or what will be the topic for the next five minutes? And I just fucking spin the shit. And it'll be like, you know, T bone steaks, you know, income inequality, uh uh fascism in the United States or your favorite Taco Bell menu uh item. You know, I just want everything on there. <laughs> No, we should make that like a gimmick episode of the MoCast where we show up for one hour and I set up like a wheel to side with just a bunch of random topics on it. We just spin it every five minutes. Okay, see, I, I really, really like that. But I, I would love to see <laughs> if it's okay with everyone if we can do a show where we turn our webcams on. If everyone's all right with that, that'll be like a fun episode. Hell, maybe it could be our first bonus episode. Because every every bonus Mo episode, episode. <laughs> mode this episode, wow. <laughs> mode this episode. Well, you know, like I I, I put mo in a lot of things because mo is actually very versatile. It's like a slight a slice of bread or a tortilla. You can use it in most things, but I in I don't most know. Things. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mo things. Mo, sh shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Anyway, uh, uh, my bad, buddy. Uh, c- uh, continue, continue. Yeah, the, 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 look out for the Monus episodes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so... What are some podcasts stories? you like, Riley? Yeah, what are some oh, podcasts you like, Riley? It's a podcast I like. Um, the ones that I listen to, like, every week as they come out, there's, like, The Dick Show, obviously. I listen to it every week. It's a good show. Of course. Good old, good old Dick Masterson and Sean, What Makes Them a Rage. It's a good, good time. Rousing good time. Capo Sean, the one, the one behind the, the one behind the conspiracy. See, it's not ever been Dick; it's been Sean this entire time. This whole time, <laughs> it's dun, been dun, Sean. Dun. Sean is good. Um, mm-hmm. I listen to the loudest podcast every week. Obviously, Stereos and Sriracha, very funny. I send voicemails into their show, but then they don't play voicemails for a month in a row because Stereos forgets things. Oh well, yeah, like I was, I was actually talking to him like earlier today. Apparently, his brother or cousin or something is like, "Hey, so I want to like show my freaking, I think my daughter or my my kids your show, but y'all like say like t- two raunchy fucking things. So maybe you can like PG it up or something, or like make it like you know kid friendly." And so all I did was uh, just go, hey, yeah, you could probably talk about any subject. You just can't say fuck every two minutes multiple times. And the next reply I get is him going, oh, God, this is going to be the worst fucking podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, because that New Yorker comes out in, like, Sriracha, right? I, I, I think the New Yorker is, like, heavily ingrained in a stereos too, like where they just can't help but say fuck because it's like please or excuse me <laughs> to these fucking people. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I I I, I really love the shit out of uh uh, uh everything that Asterios and Sarancha have done, man. I love Asterios. I love Sarancha. Well, all right. Let, let's let's not good just show. like fillet other people. Like we're here to say, hey, your show's good, but not like, yeah, you know, really kiss their ass too much. Yeah, you good shows. You make good podcasts. Now, I'll, I'll go ahead and say uh, the the strongest out of the sh- uh, the the two shows for a while. I thought Pork Chatter was the show that was better than the loudest podcast, in my opinion. I was a big fan of Mysterious Kills a Kid. A serious, a serious kills a, serious a kid production. is really, really good. It just takes a minute or two to really get into, you know, because like you're like, cause, cause me, I, I guess I'm just too old uh, anymore, and I hate fucking talking to kids. But you know, like he, he talks to these fucking kids, and it, it's very entertaining. It's like it's bearable to actually hear these little bastards, uh, fucking yammering or uh, yammering about. And, and all that shit. I mean, that's my favorite Asterios Sriracha in- production anyway. My favorite Asterios production is obviously Boomer vs. Zoomer. Well, yeah, of course. Surprise to anybody. <laughs> I don't really watch a lot of the, like, entertainment podcasts like you guys watch, like The Dick Show or, you know, even even Asterios, really. But out of Asterios, I've listened to a bit of his podcasts, and I, I really enjoyed Science Friction from what I listened to. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, uh, uh, for what I uh, for what I remember, they were talking about uh, uh, which was better. It was uh, well, not which was better. It was the the problems with uh, uh, uh I was about to say Stargate SG fucking one. My God. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's uh, the boomer yeah. in you. Oh, dude, yeah, and I love the shit out of Stargate SG-1 and all the movies and stuff. Like, anyone who's listening who hasn't seen anything fucking Star- Stargate-related, I highly fucking recommend you do. But, uh, yeah, they were talking about what the problems was, was Deep Space Nine. And listening to Asterios try to make sense of the uh, Ferengi rules of acquisition, <laughs> it was it was really, really nice because it just sounded like he couldn't ha- make heads or tails out of it and then he started thinking to himself are these supposed to be like maybe uh, a real life sort of caricature maybe a negative one of a certain type of people in real life 
And like I, I've never really seen that before, or like maybe you thought about that perspective. But... Like the orcs in Dungeons and Dragons. Well, like I don't know, like if I would one hundred percent, like well, you you know what the creators, <laughs> the, the the creators were assholes, but I, I think modern day society is improved upon, you know, the games and all that, and I would like to think that the Ferengis don't represent something like mean spirited or bigoted or anything. I think I like to think that they just represent themselves exclusively because that's what made fucking deep space nine, uh, really, uh, really, uh, uh, fun to listen to or to watch was, uh, the, 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 the diversity of, of alien characters that you got. That wasn't they just do, humans, you know. It, it does seem like looking back on it, maybe maybe like a little anti-Semitic, like like a li- like a little more than a little. Well, yeah, but like if if you start, <laughs> well, I it, I think it really just depends on who is directing the episode with the Ferengis at the same time, though, because some people just like went into like when they directed some of the episodes of like in Next Gen, you you can tell like which director or which which series of directors had like an opinion that they're trying to put into the show versus the uh, the people who are just trying to make a good show and i think the ones that you see who are just trying to make a good show uh that that's where a lot of the uh the the mean spirited bullshit doesn't really shine through a lot and those are also the better shows or better uh, series of shows in my opinion anyway and hey, we we totally got off the fucking track. We we're talking about fucking podcasts, and then we're start start talking about Deep Space Nine. So anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, are there any other podcasts that you want to talk about, uh, Riley? That you like to listen I was going to? Through the list of the ones I listen to, new episodes. Oh, time. okay. Um, here's what I don't get is one I got into fairly recently. Oh, that's the one with uh, uh, uh Tab, uh, formerly Matt Cux, right? Yes, it is. I um, like his show. His show is pretty good. It's it's like it's really fucking funny. Tab and his buddy Tim, they talk about all the issues in in the time, all the things they don't get. It's, it's a good show. I started listening to it just completely randomly out of the blue. Like I just subscribe to a lot of shows on Podcast Addict that I don't actually listen to. <laughs> 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 And here's what I don't get with one of those the longest time. And then one day I just, there was some episode about quarantine and Ace Riley was on it. And I was like, why not? And then I listened to it and I'm like, oh, the show is good. I'm going to keep listening to it. And then I did. I bet your po- end of that story. I bet your podcast feeds probably a lot like my fucking YouTube feed. Like I, I, like when I first started the account, I just fucking followed like, maybe like a couple of hundred fucking people right off the bat. And like uh, uh, every so often I would just go in a sporadic follow phase. And like I, I may, might watch like one out of 20 fucking YouTubers that that I'd follow. And then like half of them would fucking die out like the next couple of weeks or next couple of months anyway. So like I, I would never figure out like what YouTube channels I used to listen to uh, if they're still there or not. Because I was thinking about that the other day, how there was a bunch of uh, old-school Black Ops 2 YouTubers I used to watch. And then uh, I was looking through my shit, and they're fucking gone. And I, the worst part is, I don't even remember their name. So I might have gotten accidentally unsubbed, or they might have just dropped off the face of the fucking planet. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So... Well, that was a nice little list of good podcasts that you like to listen to, Riley, and I does appreciate that. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and go to Robin. Robin, what have you been listening to lately? Welcome to Mo Shoots Me Dead before I was done. Pow, pow. Oh, I don't man. know whenever you're done. You said you were done. No, I didn't. I said, here's what I don't get. You started talking about it, and then you got to your YouTube feeds. And then it was on to Robin. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. God. <laughs> I didn't know we were just listing every podcast we ever listened to. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. About two to talk about. Yeah, so, yeah, no, yeah. This is just the podcast I listen to on a weekly basis. This isn't even counting the ones that I just like go through the backlog so they don't exist anymore. 
Well, we ain't got three hours, Riley, so we're going to have to go ahead and power on through this because we're at the 38-minute mark so far. I have, like, <laughs> one more. Okay, all right, all right. One more. Give us your one more. Yeah, make it Give fast. Give it to us, Riley. We've already talked about this one at length, so I'm not going to go into it for long, but it is... Rumor versus is rumor. The, the one of, no. <laughs> uh, poor chatter. Episode, poor chatter. In a previous episode, we talked about it at length. Not this one. All right, what is so it? This, this is the show I listen to the most, way too much. The, the Procrastinators podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, of course. Oh, shit. Week. I should have fucking bet money on that. That was going to be the last yeah. one that he fucking said. <laughs> yeah. I listen to the new episode every week. I was, Procrastinators was kind of like that weird, those, one of those weird ones. The Dick Show was like this for a while where I would just like, try to catch up before I listen to new episodes and then eventually I kind of just gave up and started listening every week and then just catching up later. And I started that with the PCP when they got hacked because I wanted to listen to the episode where they talked about that because I was curious about what happened and then just from there I just kept listening every week and I still listen to a bunch of the old ones and now I don't know which old ones I've listened to because they forgot to pay their fucking feed bill, so the feed died for a couple days, and my podcast thing fucked it up, so now none of the episodes I listen to are marked anymore. Hold on, they forgot to pay their feed bill? So, something like that. Fucking. <laughs> Who the fuck would forget to pay something as crucial as that? Like, what in the hell <laughs> happened? Tom Oliver, apparently, because he's the one who runs the fucking podcast feed. Oh my god. The, the state of things, I fucking swear. I mean, I like guess that... there's a reason I marked him at the bottom of my host ranking. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that episode. That was a good episode. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Procrastinator's podcast. I've wasted too much of my life on it. The end of the story. Hmm. You know, I had the 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 problem that you were talking about not be, not being able to uh, catch up in time because uh, with the Dick Show, like in in the middle, I think like a little bit before or after the uh, the lawsuit thing started. Uh, there's about two and a half months worth of episodes that I've never listened to, uh, just because I, I, you know, I'll get fucking burned out and, uh, I'll, I'll forget to just catch up. And then one day I'll just, just listen to the one, this one episode and then boom, I'm back on again. I have not listened to any of the episodes between 97 and 183. Because I got up to 96 on my actual catch-up. And then 184 is when I started listening weekly to the new ones. Oh, to so the Dick Show? between those two points. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So between, nine, between one, 90, 97 and 183, I've heard none of it. It's all, <laughs> all shit. blurred. Damn, that's a lot. All right, so yep. w w was that it, Mr. Man? You, you have anything yep, else you want to say now. before we move well, on to Robin? We're good. <laughs> Go all right all right all right so, i give you my blessing to move on to robin thank you thank you i appreciate oh, you. that i appreciate it all right robin i swear to god i will shut up and let you fucking speak for as long as you no, want you won't. Stop lying. i'm gonna mute motherfucker i will mute myself and prove my <laughs> point all right so podcast cutane go ahead all right. Well, I don't listen to podcasts nearly as much as you do. I like pretty rarely even. I I mostly listen to YouTube videos. But I thought I would bring some more interesting ones since the ones you guys tend to listen to are more entertainment. Um, so I decided to bring up uh, Tea with Gary V, which I think is an excellent podcast. It is. If you guys haven't heard of Gary V or uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, he is a marketer. Um, like, a, he does a lot of speeches and, like, TED Talks and stuff, and he talks about, like, business, and I just think they're, a lot of them are just valuable information on, like, you know, marketing yourself and a lot of, like, mindfulness, things like that. Very, it's, like, sounds boring when you bring it up like that. Oh, no, I, I get exactly what you're talking about. I, I myself went through a freaking TED Talk phase when I would just binge watch uh, just like a, a ton of freaking TED Talks. A lot of them were good. There were a couple of duds, but the good ones really shine through. Yeah, it's it's almost like motivational kind of 
podcast, but at the same time, it's like if you're trying to build like a brand or anything, there's there's valuable information there as well. Especially like you can read his books as well. His books are really excellent on on marketing. Um, and then a more recent podcast that uh, I've been listening to that started up is uh, Check the Wire, which is a podcast between uh, two YouTubers that I've watched for a while, uh, Northern Lion and Daniel Giesling. And uh, the podcast is just about their, like the like inside baseball of their like, you know, experiences on YouTube and Twitch. Oh, you know, okay, uh, okay. So they're they're yeah, insiders talking about. Yeah, it's a lot of like about... fine details. Yeah, like you know what it's like to be a YouTuber. You know what's working, what's not working. Like their experience is just you know, like playing the game in quotes. Hmm. Yeah, I I I love listening to like because uh, I was listening to a lot of those uh, those video series and podcast series that you would talk about. Uh, but there's just so many freaking scammer ones, you know, and it, it takes a long time to finally find those good ones. I probably heard the ones that you're talking about, but for the life of me, I've just completely forgot about them. They're probably, uh, I'm probably subscribed to them uh, quite uh, Well, quite Check honestly. the Wire is fairly new. I've, I've been watching Northern Lion uh, for a long time because I, I really like The Binding of Isaac, and that's kind of what got him very popular, you know, years ago. Oh, nice. And I've nice. been watching like his live streams and he does like the Northern Lion Live Super Show. And he started this podcast with Dan Giesling, who was the, uh, he's a former Big Brother winner. And he's just like in that kind of click of, of Twitch streamers. Oh, and, no uh, shit. Both of them just kind of talk about, you know, like they've had episodes like, you know, uh, if you had to pick between Twitch and YouTube, you know, which one would you, would you solely focus on or, you know, are you actually yourself when you're live streaming or is it, you know, kind of a personality you put on or, you know, why do we do what we do or. Uh, uh, what's that a, kind of uh, stuff. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, what's a, uh, well, what's a recent episode uh, that you've watched that you've really been able to sink your teeth into? What was the topic that they ta- uh, talked about? Um. One of the topics, I don't think it was like the main topic of any particular episode, was um, was uh, their TikTok experiences, like using TikTok uh, as like a new new age sort of marketing tool because you you are tapping into an audience that you've never tapped into before. Really, yeah. like a lot of the people you find on TikTok, and and you are very like, um, oh, what's the word? Like accessible, or like it's easy to for people to find you on TikTok. Discoverable. That's the word I'm looking for. Like the discoverability on TikTok is actually a lot better than you may think it is. And just posting like even just gaming clips or just like a couple funny TikToks like does open up your audience a lot, surprisingly. Uh, see, like you get a lot of new viewership that you can draw in from TikTok. See, I was going to give like TikTok once upon a time a uh, a, a shot. But then I started watching some of the TikTokers, uh, some of the, uh, especially some of the bigger ones, and I just can't for the life of me get into it. It's just, it's just something like, uh, like I, I almost try to do it, and then I just get aggravated, and then I just look at the the format of it. I was like, you know what, this isn't for me. Like I've just stayed on Instagram the entire time, and I'm actually really enjoying Instagram more than I think I would on like Snapchat or t- uh, TikTok and all that, though. I, I guess I should branch out to at least one other one. I, I think Instagram is also really good for discoverability, like mm-hmm. especially for things like gaming clips. Like if if you take just some small, like you know, oh, I got a really insane shot in you know, uh, you know this so and so battle royale, you know, like oh my god, this kill was amazing. I'm gonna like post that on Instagram and TikTok with like proper tags and everything, like. It's it's kind of insane how many people view it, even from an account that like has no followers already. Like if you just start posting them, like you you will get people following you. It's kind of surprising. Less less so for Instagram because Instagram's so you know ubiquitous. I guess TikTok's pretty ubiquitous too, but not for that kind of stuff. Yeah, because when when I think or when I used to think of TikTok anyway, I just thought of like. Haha, ha, funny memes. 
Uh, yeah. Like I mean, I not funny to me, but funny to Zoomers. Oh, well, <laughs> like I, I follow a lot of freaking VR chat, freaking uh, YouTubers and VTubers or whatever they're called. Uh, and uh, I, I've seen that the, like the the uh, the madness that is a, a TikTok for a lot of them, though. So far, when it comes to that community, I haven't really seen a bad TikTok at all. It, it's been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed every single one of them, even if it's like fucking memes and shit that I don't fucking understand at all. I've still like thoroughly enjoyed them and they've gotten fucking real big. Like there's this uh, one chick who's really awesome. Her name's Loren, and uh, she started doing uh, uh, TikTok uh, videos and junk, and her followers and her uh, visibility has uh, 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 gone up exponentially since she started doing the TikTok thing. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, I bet, I bet. And, like, I, I wouldn't have really found out about Instagram if I haven't, like, you know, just youtube uh, like how uh, like a how to video and all that stuff, because once I start like a God, there's there's one guy I'll I'll look for it. But uh, um, have you ever seen Good Mythical Morning? Oh, of course. This is a yes. th- that's that's a, a a new podcast that I've recently got into. And uh, podcast in quotes. <laughs> well, podcast slash uh, well, good myth. Well, they do morning. ear biscuits. That's their podcast. Oh, that that's what that's called. Shit. Yeah, like uh, my brother turned me on to uh, that that show, and I've started loving the hell out of it. I think it, it's my new favorite YouTube series so far. Their uh, their ear biscuits episode on like um, what do they call it? Like the deconstruction of their religiousness because they they've recently come out as like agnostic slash atheist mm. after growing up like very Christian. And they did three, I think three episodes of their podcast on um, like deconstructing individually, like, you know, eat, like their two experiences with like falling out of their religion. And then they did one episode like talking about it with each other. So one episode was just Rhett talking about, you know how he fell out fell out of his religion and then the next episode was like link falling out of his religion and then they did one like talking to each other about just religion in general which i thought was really interesting and kind of kind of a bold move to to do something that kind of taboo i guess well yeah because such a large audience well yeah especially like with such a diverse audience that they have it's uh it, it's a it's a hell of a risk even in today's society where like being a, a an agnostic or an atheist really isn't seen as like that big of a deal with, with that size of an audience and with, with with that like I said that diverse of an audience that could be that that could be like a death sentence still because even though like things are cool with a lot of people now you don't know like what groups are okay with it and like you take that chance, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know you're fucking ousted. Like I, I told like a friend of mine that I was an atheist one time, and we were drinking at this fucking bar, and I was hitting on this chick, and uh, he hears me go off, and he just goes, he's very very drunk, and he goes, what do you know? You're an atheist. And as soon as she heard atheist, it was like an echo. Atheist, 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 atheist. I fucking noticed the big gold cross around her neck. And then she <laughs> said, she she said, oh, excuse me. Like, you know, like the devil himself just fucking like was been talking to her the entire time. And like any chance of me getting laid fucking went out the fucking window. Because then she came back. And she started crying to me and started telling me, I'm so concerned for your soul. So, like, you know, it's like I don't really even talk about uh, uh, my, like, lack of belief or, like, what I believe specifically anymore. Because that that, those instances have happened to me, like, a fucking bunch of times. So you were totally right for them to do that. It's a very bold move. Definitely. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, one of the uh, YouTubers I was just talking about was uh, Just Alex Halford. 
and he has just like a bunch of how-to videos, you know, how to make a scribble effect, how to make, a, how to a, a use your overlay and all that stuff. And I, I, I loved just like listening to him, like talk for about 45 minutes about what you can and cannot do. And I, I, I really liked that. That was to finish that one point I was making some time ago. <clears throat> but yeah. So, uh, with those, what are some podcasts you like, Mo? Uh, well, so far I've really, really gotten to the uh, the Rich Dickman show. Uh, I've been going over there to their uh, Discord and just sitting into uh, some of their recordings, and uh, I got to chill and listen and talk with uh, Tab, formerly Mad Cooks, or occasionally Mad Cooks, I should say, because every so often he breaks out that character, and that was a really good episode. Uh, uh, Cripple Jesus was on there recently. I think uh, I think it was the episode after we had him. He was on there. And then he was on there again to uh, shoot a uh, uh, an episode of Holy Rollers, which is another podcast I, I really enjoy because it's my buddy. And, you know, I'll listen to all my friendship. But like specifically, like when, when I've been uh, when I started listening to the Rich Dickman show, uh, you know, it's 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 nice to see someone or like a. a, a like a podcast that's sort of within our circle of friends and uh, and like a, I guess influence and all that stuff. But it's nice to see that they can you can still be and have an you can still have an outsider uh, podcast that not everything has to run uh, along with the same lines of hey what happened to you know the Ralph retort or PPP or you know what happened to Jim and Medicare and all that stuff. You know you don't it doesn't. We can still coexist in the same spot, but talk about other shit, and that's really, really Good refreshing. P P Oh, I no fucking comment on that schmuck. I, I don't have time for that <laughs> goober. But anyway, yeah, uh, uh, his podcast I've been listening to a lot, and I've really been enjoying them. They uh, they have a really neat uh, like it, it's it's a little different. They have a a different sort of neat flow to uh how their show is ran and you'll listen to uh to them for like an hour and a half two hours and like i i've enjoyed uh every minute of that um that's that's how i uh, like and how i got into them was because uh uh i i think it was uh matt from uh the not for human consumption uh guys uh, start going on this show and I, I follow Matt and I talk to Matt a lot because he's a Twitch streamer and I really enjoy the shit out of their show. And, uh, uh, I, I've, I started listening to those guys for a little while and everything was great until the fucking stupid COVID thing hit. And you'll notice that a lot of podcast episode or podcast shows, if they have like a, a group of people or a group of dudes, let's be real. Like it's mostly male centric. It's a, a group of dudes around a fucking table. And now that they have to be separated or else like face the wrath of the freedom police, uh, uh, it's it's a little weird because that dynamic that was once there has been put on hold. I don't think it'll uh, that it, I, I think it'll come back. But like to see like a lot of these uh, podcasts that have the the multi, the, the multiple people, the table, uh, the, the round table discussions to see them be done through webcams. It's a little bit odd and a little bit off putting. It's like watching wrestling without the crowd. Like you're not used to it. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. But yeah, the, the, uh, that, uh, uh, the Rich Dickman show is one I've been listening to, of course, not for human consumption, but the, the one I have been listening to a whole hell of a lot, uh, was actually fucking, uh, Ear Biscuits. Cause, uh, like, uh, me and my brother, we were sitting there, uh, just a few days ago, and we, we must have marathon like eight or nine freaking episodes of them just like talking. And then we would start talking to, uh, we would start watching the, uh, Oh, what what the hell is his fucking name? Uh, the, the their main cook on, on that little channel, the the mythical kitchen. Oh, uh, um, shit! I can't remember. I can't remember his name. Josh. I think that's his name. Yeah, mythical but, chef Josh. Yeah. yeah, but I I absolutely love the shit 
out of that freaking series as well and uh, it, it's it's really awesome because i think i have some i think he's got some things that aren't really that hard to cook that i would love to try and cook one day like i would love to try to cook his uh oh what was it? the 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 taco bell uh, uh cheesy gordita crunch uh, uh that he had he he made a variation of it and I think with much, much cheaper ingredients, I can sort of replicate what he did. And I think it would be, and I think it would end in delicious results. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, um. yeah I, I, I didn't know that I had this much of an interest in uh, cooking shows and cooking podcasts or just, uh, you know, cooking adjacent, I guess. But yeah, 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 that's, uh, those are the two shows that I've been listening to. And I, I've been really enjoying them a whole lot. We're at the one hour mark. Hold uh, on. I got a good way to end this. Hold on. I got it. I got it. All right. Good. I, I was about to say, I was about to say, if you have anything you want to add before the Let's official. Let's go around end. the horn. Everybody right now, gun to your head. What is your favorite podcast of all time? Gun to your head. Final answer. Oh, well, me, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and just say the dick show. I'll be a basic bro about it and just say, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, 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 that sh- the dick show has been, like, the, the show that I have, like, consistent. Well, uh, that and the loudest podcast. Uh, those two shows are the ones I have, like, gone out of my way to make time to listen to. But, like, uh, uh, that's not to say that I haven't been listening to the other shit. Like I've said, I, I, I've admitted to listening to at least a few more. But yeah, man, the, those two uh, uh, those two shows, but specifically The Dick Show, I think that's probably my favorite podcast so far. Well, out, out of everything. Okay. Though, there's, there's very close seconds and thirds, fourths and fifths. Of course. Uh, I mean, if I had a gun to my head, it'd probably be Tea with Gary Vee. I... I don't really watch many podcasts. That's why it was one of the ones I brought up. Okay. What about well, you, Riley? I what was answer? I didn't bring this one up because <laughs> it hasn't been it hasn't been a thing in a long time, so it didn't really come up in current podcasts. But I gotta give it to insufferable social media argument. It's just the best podcast possible. It's only. It only got to exist for 22 episodes because, unfortunately, Monkey Jones and Digibro didn't get along for very long. But while they did, they put out a damn good podcast. I love every second of Insufferable Social Media Argument, just Monkey and Digi arguing about the stupidest shit. It's probably one of the funniest things on the internet and i rec- highly recommend anybody check it out in several social media argument it's been up re-uploaded even though monkey got you know yeeted from youtube back in the day <laughs> it's been easily re-uploaded it is easily accessible by just a simple search so check it out one of the coolest things about uh the procrastinator guys and the the dick show like uh like uh, uh fandoms is that both sides have had a bunch of really interesting offshoots or, or variations of the original product, like uh, insufferable, insufferable social media. Uh, what was what was that uh, last bit? Insufferable social media art. All right, there you go. Like you have like uh, uh, the 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 Cameron Clark show. You have the Dickheads podcast, the the unofficial Dickheads podcast, or the podcast podcast with Dick in it. You know, the Dick in the title with, with Dick. <laughs> and then there's like a, a, oh, what was the 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 wackaloon, the one who turned out to be like a, you know, interested in in, in the children. What Jesus was his freaking Clegg? Clegg? Thank you, like a Clegg and Clark. <laughs> yeah, th- those uh, that that uh that whole like freaking uh, uh part of the uh uh the oh what what's the fucking word I'm looking for um the the, the mythos the zeitgeist the the lore there we go uh that's that's a very uh, the, the, there's so many very interesting uh uh offshoots of the Dick Show lore. And of the PCP uh, uh, like podcast lore that I've really come to enjoy over the last few years, you know, it hasn't been really a dull moment. Yeah, that's probably like 
one of the closest crossovers besides the guest appearances between the Dick Show and the pre CP and Monkey Mythos is Clegg. Like Clegg was around like Monkey and the PCP people. Like he got banned from all the PCP comment sections. He did a podcast with Monkey until Monkey and Cream Man tricked him into admitting he was a pedophile. Oh God. Uh, but yeah, you know, not everything lasts just like this episode. <laughs> and that's my <laughs> and, and that's my cue to ask uh Riley, where can they find you at? You can find me on Twitter at Riley Tweets. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Riley Streams, where I stream a couple of video games. I've also been doing this new show called Some Kind of Show, where I just open up my Discord call and I go, take stupid online quizzes and I talk to all my good friends. I really Most enjoy it. In. Oh, yeah. Yep. I've really enjoyed be calling on your show, man. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you do that a lot more. Yep, I plan on doing it a lot more because it's pulled the best viewership of anything I do on Twitch. So I'm going to start doing it more often so <laughs> I can get them get them average viewers up so I can get that sub money from that affiliate. So Hell money. yeah. Brother. Hell yeah. Yep. Hmm. And um, as for podcasts, there's a whole lot of them. Uh, Pixels Fly Out of the Fun, wherever podcasts are found. Pokemon Variety Hour on Spotify, Stitcher, or Apple Podcasts. And also, on Spotify and Stitcher or Apple Podcasts, the most important thing of them all, the Riley Podcast Mega Feed, is where all of my self-headed podcasts lie, such as Largest Shoe in the Galaxy, which we talked about earlier, the Riley and Ian Movie Review Podcast, soon to be returning, and the Dickheads Podcast, which formerly was a show where me and Grant would discuss the dick show and biggest problem in the universe every week. But Grant's, you know, too busy being rich and whatever the fuck he says to be on a podcast. So now me and Mo are going to do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, there is a little bit of an announcement. Like, I'm taking over co-hosting duties on the, the what was it, the Dickhead Podcast or the Dickheads the Dick Podcast? Heads, the Dickheads Podcast. There is the a official, difference. The there official is a difference. Dick Masterson sta- sanctioned Dickheads Podcast is also that other one with Beth and Cameron Clark, but that one's not Dick approved. This one is. <laughs> uh, Robin, where can they find you at? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy, and you can find me on Twitch.television when I stream, uh, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. Yeah, you've been playing. Uh, what was it? A uh, 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 Bloodborne, or what was that game that you were playing? The I did other play. Day? I did play Bloodborne a little while ago, and I've been playing uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance as well. Oh, I was following you on Twitch. I haven't been seeing these notifications. I could have sworn I was following you. Yeah, I've been really enjoying your streams lately, Robin. They've been uh, very entertaining. Like I've never seen either one of those games really played. And so, like, it's it's nice. And I, I kind of like the You hopped user into the Bloodborne it. one while I didn't have uh, a microphone on, so. Oh, pff, I Bobby just. Bobby Dams, I didn't follow you. Well, I'm following you now. Honestly. But usually I have a microphone. The Bloodborne was fun. I, I did beat it, but I, I'm going back through a New Game Plus, and I'm going to do the DLC as well, which I just bought. So. And then cool. Kingdom Come has been just super fun. Cool. I'm actually looking forward to seeing more freaking Bloodborne and Kingdom Come stuff. Uh, because uh, I, I, I don't mind like the conversation with some people, but sometimes you just want to sit back and, and watch the gameplay. And I, I love, like, I, I haven't played the Dark Souls game that I have yet, but I, I've everything that I've seen from that versus Bloodborne, it seems that I would probably like Bloodborne a whole lot more. And I, I'm looking forward to that when it comes to fucking PC. But yeah, is that confirmed coming out? Uh, I've heard rumors that's been coming out, but I haven't heard anything official yet. So we'll we'll see when the time comes. Whenever everyone decides to pull their head out of their ass and and Everybody. port it to fucking PC, which it'll make fucking millions of dollars. Like it'll be a very high selling game when it comes to PC, even more than it is now. Ah. And now you get to me, ladies and gentlemen. Where can you find me, you may ask? Well, you can find me Follow at... Follow Mo on Twitch at twitch.tv slash realmatix. <laughs> I will fucking set your fucking house on fire. 
if you ever <laughs> said no, no, you go to twitch.tv slash mo diggity. That's where you go. You don't go to anyone else like the, the real Maddox or the real cowboy Maddox or whatever fucking. I was you... about to say, follow twitch.tv slash real Maddox for the amazing streams of Oxmad, the real cowboy. Uh, that was just the silliest shit. Anyway, you're jumping in on my promo, bitch. Yeah, go to twitch.tv slash Mo Diggity. Uh, you'll find me streaming there at least three to four times a week, uh, as much as possible. Even though I've been fucking that up and only been streaming twice a week, I've been feeling the lack of motivation to stream, but I'm, 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 it's slowly coming back to me. Sometimes, you know, you just get in that creative funk. It's why I haven't really... Uh, uh, uploaded anything to my uh, YouTube channel in the last three weeks, other than my po- other than our podcast here. But anyway, yada yada yada. You can find me at twitch.tv slash mo diggity. You can find me at, ha- at happy good boy four twenty on Twitter. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash c forward slash mo diggity forty two and mo diggity forty two at Instagram. Uh, go check us out at patreon.com forward slash mo side productions if you want to. Uh, support the support the show directly and uh yeah in my twitter bio you'll see all of our pertinent information our important all all the other shit anyway thanks for coming out i really do appreciate it and until next time ta-ta bye bye